So, hi, my name is Carrie Cahoy. I am an associate professor here in the Aeronautics and Astronautics Department at MIT, and my work is technology demonstration on nanosatellite, very small satellite or CubeSat platforms, and working with them to get them to work together in constellations and swarms for Earth observation and for astrophysics. We've got um, three big mission areas right now that I'm really excited about. One is laser communication, optical communication from tiny satellite to tiny satellite on orbit so that they can send large amounts of data and also as part of that link um, precisely know where each other are. So have centimeter level um, position information on each other so they can make coordinated observations and measurements. Um, in addition to doing downlinks from the satellites in laser down to the ground and using small, low cost, amateur astronomy telescopes to be able to track these links. And um, that way we can have a lot more ground stations. If you have enough ground stations, you don't worry about the clouds and the availability so much because you can always move to where there's a good downlink. Um, so that's one mission. Um, we have NASA sponsorship for that. And it's a mission called CLIC, the, um, the CubeSat Laser Infrared Crosslink mission. Um, and it is really a three satellite mission. So one of them is going to do a downlink, Two are going to do crosslinks to and from each other. And they have a chip scale atomic clock, so one of the new technologies we're testing on board to do this precision timing and ranging between them. The other mission that we've been working on is testing more um, MEMS devices. So MEMS are microelectromechanical systems. Uh, we use them um, in spacecraft for a bunch of different things. Um, to, there are MEMS gyroscopes that tell us how the spacecraft is rolling and what the angular accelerations are. Uh, there are also MEMS devices that are useful in an optical way. So we have um, MEMS devices that can tip tilt mirrors and direct beams for lasers. And then there are MEMS mirrors that can um, deform their entire surface and help improve how well you can image um, an object or a point source. So we're using s s these small satellite platforms to test these MEMS devices on orbit and make instruments that are much smaller and more compact but very powerful. Um, so we have a mission going up called DEMI. It's sponsored by DARPA. So it's the Deformable Mirror Demonstration Mission. We have a patch um, for it. And it just launched um, February 15th on uh, NG-13, so Northrop Grumman-13. It's an Antares rocket from Wallops, Virginia. And so that satellite is a 6U CubeSat that's now on space station, and it has a tiny telescope on it. And it's going to test a 140 actuator count little deformable mirror to show that it can be used for big NASA astrophysics missions on their telescopes to help us find things like um, habitable planets, habitable exoplanets around other stars. So trying to test some of those new technologies out. Um, a, the third area that I'm really excited about is um, some of the student projects that we have that include propulsion, which is going to be a really key element towards having swarms and constellations of satellites with useful instruments on board. Um, and this satellite um, is called Beaver Cube. The MIT mascot is the beaver. And the students have been working on developing a satellite that has um, inf infrared cameras to take pictures of the Earth and look at coastal regions. So looking at climate change and how it impacts um, coastal regions with sea surface temperature. And we have a visible camera that's going to be looking at uh, certain bands and how aerosols are affected. And it also has a propulsion unit on it from an MIT spin-off called Axion. So it's an ion, ion electrospray propulsion. Take two. <laughs> it also has a propulsion system on it. It's called an ion electrospray propulsion system. And it's from an MIT spin-off called Axion. And so this will allow the CubeSat to demonstrate that the propulsion system works in space so future missions can um, use propulsion to try to translate and move the satellites around and coordinate them with each other and making observations.